Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and today is day 63 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and celebrating myself. So yay, I made it to day 63. Um, so for today, I was thinking about um, simple things, simple mindedness, um, simplicity sort of things. Um, when I say simple minded, I don't mean like bad or dumb or dull, maybe a little bit, all of those, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I just know that I, um, <clears throat> I'm not like one of those high maintenance women, girls, people, persons. Um, I, I'm very, um, I'm very what you see is what you get. I also have a tendency to take things at face value, which there's nothing wrong with that, except that it just means that a lot of things go over my head because I, I don't always, um, look for or think that there's some kind of underlying or hidden meaning to things. Um, not like I said, I'm not one of those most sarcastic people. I uh, don't always catch the little sarcasm or other jokes. I think I've caught on to more of them the older I've gotten, but um, I still just I don't. I'm very um, I'm very simple. Um, I like things that makes sense logically make sense. I think I'm somewhat logical. Um, I just like things to make sense if it doesn't make sense. I'm like it just it just confuses me, and I'm I'm easily confused. So um, I. I like things that are simple. I feel like I am simple. Um, I'm also learning, you know, to do the whole slow and steady and, and simple, simple things. Um, and there's, there's a scripture. I don't know if I'm allowed to quote scriptures without knowing what scripture it is. So. <laughs> um, anyway, there, there's a scripture that's like, well, by small and simple means are great things brought to pass. So um, I like that because I am simple. I do simple things, small things, little things, and they all, they all kind of add up. I'm not one of those like complex people. I maybe imagine daydream create complex characters that I, you know, for my stories, but I personally myself am not that complicated. I am not that complex. I'm, I'm very simple. I'm very, very easy to read. I'm very, um, I don't know. I don't have a lot of, maybe I have a lot of hangups. I don't know. I don't feel like I have a lot of <laughs> I just feel like I'm a very simple person. I don't need a, a lot of big, huge things. I'm, I'm content with a lot of um, little things, simple things. I've never wanted big, fancy things. I don't need makeup. I don't need fancy clothes, fancy hair, fancy house. Some of those things always seem nice to me, but then I'm just always like uncomfortable with that. I'm just very, I'm very laid back, easygoing. I should be celebrating easygoing instead of, <laughs> instead of simple. But um, I guess I was just thinking a lot and simple minded and trying to change my thought process or change my definitions of things because um, I did get it teased a lot. And, you know, even though I don't have blonde hair, you know, like all those blonde jokes apply to me that I just don't get things because they're all over my head because I don't I don't dig deeper. Um, and not that there's not more to me than what's on the surface, but I just don't have a lot of. Um, hidden secrets. I don't make things complicated or complex. I like things that are simple and easy to understand and things that aren't confusing because I'm easily confused. So I am very simple or simple minded. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm used to that. I've been that way my entire life. So I know there's always those things that I, I'm not going to get. And I am learning that some of those things I just don't want to know because they're just, yeah. <laughs> It just doesn't matter. I'm like, let it go over my head. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, I had a, a passenger the other day ask or mention something. He used like a common everyday word that I'm like, I know what that word means, but I think he was referring it to it in some other form. Um, I'm going to guess it was something inappropriate. <laughs> and he's like, do you know what that means? And I'm like, not in the the context in which he was talking to me, I did not. And he's like, want me to explain it to you? And I was like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> I like being oblivious sometimes. Um, you know, what do they say? Ignorance is bliss. There we go. I will be ignorant. I will be simple. I will, be <laughs> I will stay away from all of those other things I don't need um, in my head. I would love to say that I, you know, don't have a whole lot of clutter, but I have tons of clutter. I was going to say, oh, I don't want clutter in my brain, but I got tons of clutter. All of my stories and all of my um everything in my head clutters my house is full of clutter <laughs> and uh i yeah clutter i have holding on to things i do i'm a pack rat that's you know that's part of something else i could celebrate isomize um but 
<laughs> very simple. Even when it comes to my writing, I, I write very much like I talk and I just use very simple words. I don't use the big complex words. I don't use big, huge descriptive words. So my mentor and other beta readers are like, oh, you need to describe this better or use other words. You keep using the same words over and over again. I'm like, yeah, I just don't think about the complex words or the, all the descriptive words. I am becoming very good friends with my thesaurus when it comes to writing because I just, <clears throat> I don't think um, in those terms, I, like I said, I'm just very simple, very simple minded, very easy, very, um, very uh, logical to some extent, very logical, I think. Um, I just like things to make sense. And I just like to use little words that I understand that I don't have to get out of a dictionary to look up. Um, and some words I do understand, but I don't know how to explain. So when people ask me, I'm like, I don't know how to describe that. I'm like, get a dictionary because I think I understand it, but I don't know how to describe it. So <laughs> very simple. I don't do complex, big, crazy things. I do simple little things. Um, I don't do complex things unless I've, you know, learned and built up to it. I don't ever, um, anyway, so I just, to me, I was just thinking I'm very simple minded when it comes to things like that. A lot of things over my head, I just don't get, and I'm okay with that. Um, I like the what you see is what you get kind of deal. <laughs> and I, I, um, I know I probably overcomplicate things or sometimes I think I overthink things. Um, but like I said, I don't always look for there to be something, some underlying in myself. I overanalyze myself, but I don't <laughs> always or I overanalyze my past and my responses to things because again, I always have the simple responses or I have the brain freeze and I don't know how to respond to things. And then I think later of all the things I could have said to respond to them, um, which aren't very helpful. So um, not sure how all of this relates to being simple minded, but <laughs> I just, like I said, I just, I don't have a whole lot when it comes to conversations or um, confrontations. My brain just kind of is empty. It freezes. I come up with stuff later afterwards. And even like I said, when I do my writing or the stories in my head, I just use the same words and terminologies, description things over and over again, because it's simple. It's easy. It's things that I can remember. And so I like, I like simple. I like simple explanations. I like things that make sense. Um, I don't like the big convoluted words and things that are complicated and that don't make any sense whatsoever. And it's just like, okay, this, this, yeah makes it feel like much ado about nothing. <laughs> like, there's just nothing. There's all of this big whatever going on and there's nothing about it. So um, I prefer the simple, simple, basic, just lay it out, ABC, follow a recipe. Very simple for me. Um, I like things to be simple in my life. Um, and I try to, I'm trying to simplify things in my life and realizing that I don't need all the big complicated things. I don't need all the big fancy things. I'm just a very, simple person and I like that about me. So anyway, enough about me. If you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude. Find some fun ways to celebrate yourself and maybe do some writing.